my children welcome to ape ict panthe youtube channel today we are going to discuss grades 8 ict lesson 2 configuring and formatting a computer uh, so previously i have uploaded a one video related to this lesson and this is the second part so go and watch the first part then you can understand this lesson easily and also you can find ICT videos in my YouTube channel so go to playlist and search your video before moving to lesson please subscribe teachers channel and also share the videos with your friends in your first video we discuss about how to change the time time zone then currency number format and how to uh, format your numbers and in this lesson we are going to learn about file attributes and how to search a file right uh, in your computer there are different types of files available so we have to check the attributes of these files right these are the file attributes file types file name file extension size of the file the place file is stored the date on which the file was created the last modified date rights if not permissions of the file these are the file attributes file type file name file extension then the size of the file place where we saved the file and the date we created the file and the, the last modified date then the file permissions those are the file attributes and you learned about these file attributes in grade 7 also so let's go how to find the file attributes right and also follow your workbook uh, workbook activity 2.2 computer file attribute configuration right this is how you can find the attributes it means file attributes in your files right click on the selected file and click on the properties from the menu you get you can then examine the attributes such as type of the file location size and size in the dialog box that appears let's see right in my screen you can see many files so let's see i'm going to select this file so uh, there's a file name as lesson 2 operating system i'm going to select the file right click on the file then there is a menu from that menu i'm going to select the properties when i select the properties i can get a dialog box from the dialog box select general tab that's a security then details previous versions so we have to go to general tab when you go to general tab you can see the file attributes so i open microsoft office word uh, document microsoft office word file because of that type of the file is microsoft word document file extension docx here you can see the file name lesson 2 operating system and the file extension is docx then the location where i saved this file c users Dex, MOE, desktop then size um, this is the size of my file then the created date Wednesday 
uh, March 19, 2025 and you can find the time also, date and the time. And the last modified date. And the last access date. Right? And there are some two important attributes. Read only and hidden. In this lesson, you will learn about this attribute file permission attribute right so let's check with another file uh, this uh, already we opened this word document shall we open a pdf right this is a pdf file select the file right click from the menu go to properties then go to general yes let's examine the file attributes this is file name solar panel installation file extension pdf type of the file pdf document location in desktop and the size of the file created date Modified date Last access date And the attributes Read only hidden Now you know what are the file attributes File name, file extension, file type, location, file size last created date last modified date last access date and the file permission attributes right so let's go to your workbook there are two special attributes available here to protect your file they are hidden and read only right in your file there is the file permission attribute so this attribute is used to protect your file if there are mainly two attributes there are mainly two attributes they are hidden and read only they are hidden and read only so if you select hidden your file can be hidden so no one can see your file if you choose the read only option others can open your file they can watch your file but they cannot edit your file they can watch your file but they can't edit your file right let's see how it work So, hidden to keep files not to be seen anyone and if we set the attribute to read only then permission will give to read only. These attributes can be activated by clicking the checkbox in front of them. One or both attributes can be activated at the same time. If you want you can activate both read on the mode and the hidden mode for that the steps given below can be followed as necessary after the selection click apply button then ok here in these images also you can see how to select attribute and how to apply it so let's do it practically now right i'll open a docu a folder and i'll move my uh, this word document to folder then i'm going to find the attributes of this file to do that Select the file, go to right click, then 
select the properties from here now you can find the all the file attributes here i will select hidden option when i select hidden option my file will be hide from other users so i'll check the check box box at in front of the hidden option then click apply after that you have to click the ok button right now although i i was hidden this file you can see the reason is now right now you can't see the hidden file because it's already hidden but think you are the person who hide the file now you want to find it so there is a option to see hidden files when you go to the file go to the folder and there are many tabs file home share and then view from the view tab you can see your option as hidden item when you click on that check box you can see all the hidden items but check it the icon this file icon little bit blur and it's little bit hidden for you right if you want to disable that mode what we have to do is again we have to select the file go to properties select the file go to properties then untick that hidden option and click apply then okay now it's appear as a normal file again let's hidden that fold file click on the or select the file go to properties from the properties menu click the hidden button and apply and okay now it's hidden right i want to see it click on the hidden item right i want to enable that hidden option because of that select the file right click and go to properties and untick the hidden option read only right and click apply then okay when you set the property like in that way you cannot edit it you cannot edit the file only you can see the file you cannot work see listen to operating system dot docx in read only mode it's in read only mode right then you cannot edit it but you can read this file so these are the main two file permissions so you have to remember about these two file permissions why we use these file permissions the main reason is to protect our files to protect our files from unauthorized accesses that's why we are using this special two special file permission attributes right if you want you can choose both options together for example i will show you select the file click on the right mouse button then go to properties then tick both hidden and read only mode then click apply then okay if you want you can apply both two options right let's remove it to do that 
click on hidden item then you can see this hidden item click on that then properties then untick this icon right then click apply then ok now you know about file attributes if we set the file attributes in a correct way then we can search the file very easily we can search the files very easily so let's see how to search a file search in files files are searched when the name of the file or the place stored is unknown so we have to search the file why we forgot the name of the file or where we stored the file in such occasion you have to search the file files can be searched by file name file extension or save date when you save a file you can search the file using file name file extension or using date of the creation search a file using file extension so go to start menu right click on it then go to file explorer now you can see the file explorer dialog box from here you can see this quick uh, search quick access bar so right click here click on that for a uh, bar then click this pc now we are searching all the documents from this pc so i am searching using file extension right so you know uh, when we create a word document or when we create a file using word process software our file extension will be docx so docx and now all the documents or the files with co that contain the file extension as docx will be listed out these are the files contain docx file extension from here you can find your related document right if not let's type with the name right then all the documents starting with ICT will be list out in this way now you know how to search a file so you can search using file name file extension and also using the date so this is all about the second video in the next video we will discuss about troubleshooting and maintenance of the computer in that lesson part in that topic we will learn hardware problems software problems and how to solve those problems Right, if this video is useful for you, please put a comment and share the video with your friends. Let's meet with another video.